Morning all. Um, somebody asked me how I do my graphite uh, effects on vehicles and uh, on weapons and stuff like that. Okay, um, so look, I'm going to do a little tester here for you. Um, here's a, uh, let's just zoom in on that. There we go. Focus on that, sorry. That's a uh, bulk standard um, graphite pencil which you can buy in any art shop. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic. And um, what I'm going to do is take a, a barrel from a Thunderhawk, which is the battle cannon, and just show you what you can do. Now you can see I've already done a bit of on there um, because you can see the metallic sheen. But the, the idea is to give the appearance of warm metal um, and uh, to show like you know added scruffs and scrapes um, on the object that you're using. Now it's worth just remembering that once you uh, spray um, varnish on that it's going to dull back down again so you're only putting it on areas where basically you know you're not going to be handling all the time so like a, a barrel on a cannon um, the um, edges of a vehicle um, uh, turrets and stuff like that you know anywhere there's going to be a scrape now you can do exactly the same thing with a painting effect but what this does is uh, it gives it a much more of a realistic finish and there's a lot of people that use it so I'm just going to show you how to do this so you can take your graphite pencil um, there's two ways of doing it, you can either rub it straight from the pencil or you can uh, shave off some shavings and then rub it in uh, do remember though to, you know, to wash your hands uh, afterwards because um, there's got to be some sort of poison involved in this <laughs> so uh, there you go, that's my safety tip, wash your hands afterwards or wear a glove um, so look, let's just start here. So we'll just do a little demonstration piece for you. Take your graphite pencil, just rub it down the barrel, turn the barrel, you know, uh, as you go along. Um, now, I've built up layers on this already, um, but this is just a test piece. I'll probably use this barrel for something else because I'm using the LAS cannon for the Thunderhawk that I've got. Um, so you just rub it. You can do this with your finger, but you can also do it with a cloth. Uh, if you bring it all the way down, just go over the whole barrel with it. Uh, just cover it over. Give it a good rub there, said the vicar. Um, <coughs> so basically, we focus in on that now. You'll see the sheen that's building up. Um, now, another way of doing it is like I said is to do the shavings first and then rub it in but it does give it a lovely finish now do you remember when you spray that that'll map down a bit so you'll lose the the shine but some of them um, the metallic look will stay there now it's better um, when you've got a completely painted model um, like if the barrel is completely finished and I finished with weapon effects and then did it over the top um, it would really stand out um, so that's one way of doing it now everybody has a pencil at home so it's just focusing on that so this is just a standard household pencil um, as you know it doesn't have to be anything special um, <clears throat> even though I tend to use my graphite pencil uh, I also use one of these as well make sure you've got a sharp point so I'm just going to show you on this test piece here now I've already started on it um, it's better again once the model's finished oh there's a rhino door flips off hatch I'll have to glue that on later um, but I'm using this for the process of um, just test, just a test. So what you do is you, you follow the grooves all the way along. Don't be worried if it goes over the edges because you, you do want it to go a little bit over the edges. Um, but it's all about building up layers. And what you'll find is as you go along, you'll create a, a really worn effect. Now, there's that there. I'm just going to grab a, a cloth. <laughs> And hopefully, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see a bit of a shine building up there. Um, if I capture the light, now that looks really good when it's all painted up, and you do it afterwards. Now make sure you do this after you've painted the model. But all you need is a standard standard pencil or a graphite pencil, and what you do is you just work on capturing the areas where you know that the paint's going to be worn. It's an old model maker's trick and it's fantastic. And you find a lot of the guys that do the uh, sort of World War II tanks and stuff or model making tend to use this tip, uh, this um, technique. Um, so if I show you on a model that's completed, so you can see it on there. This is one of my uh, my rhinos. So I've done it 
around the hatch. I don't know if you see that there? Yeah, there you go. And I've also done it here as well um, because it works really, really well. Um, so there you go. So that's one little technique you can do. It's easy to do. You can do it at home. Uh, it doesn't really cost you anything because everybody's got pencils laying around. But my advice is just do it on a test piece first. Get used to doing it. And if you like it, go ahead and do it on the other pieces. Um, it works really well on dreadnoughts, on the shoulder pads. It works really, really well on vehicles. Um, but it makes barrels a little bit more realistic looking. And, you know, once you've, once you've painted the model completely, don't be afraid just to go in there and go, right, well, I... I really want to highlight these uh, these areas here. So all of a sudden you can see straight away it's bringing up like a worn look. So you can see where the paint's chipped away. And I do this on all my models because it just adds, you know, an, air, uh, uh, an area of realism to it all. Um, and you can do the same effect with painting, you know, but save any paint, do it this way. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, let's just find a cloth. So there you go, look at that. Straight away you've got a nice worn effect there. So anyway, if you uh, if you want to give it a go, go ahead and give it a go. It's a fantastic little way of doing uh, worn paint effects. Anyway, guys, take care of yourself and I'll speak to you later. Bye.